On our first full day in Conover, we woke up to an incredible breakfast, complete with fresh fruit, eclairs, a homemade quiche, hash browns, and of course, some bacon. Then it was off to our first stop of many for that day, Manufacturing Solutions. Now I have to be honest, when Patricia, owner of Sweet Tea B&B, &B, told us she was taking us to a place called Manufacturing Solutions, where they made socks and other products, I thought, wow, this is gonna be boring. But I was so wrong, y'all. We started our tour talking mostly about socks. We watched the machine speed through the threads and learned how the sock itself is formed and made. Then we saw what looks like a typical laundry room. It's where they see how the socks react to the normal wear and tear of a washing machine, stains, and the like. We got to see rooms where they test the socks and other garments to see how they react to sweat, bacteria, microbes, changes in temperature. Essentially, it's how the clothes will react when they're out of a factory and on a real person. A real person sweats. A real person spills things on themselves, gets down and dirty at their job, scrapes their feet across different types of surfaces, comes in contact with different air qualities and environments. The people at Manufacturing Solutions want to make sure the clothes will hold up and last, but also keep the consumer clean, dry, and healthy. If they find problems with how the garments hold moisture or latch onto bacteria, They'll collaborate and work together to make the products better. They also have an incubator, where people with an idea can come in and develop it. We couldn't film in this area because it's pretty top secret. But we did learn about some amazing new products hitting the market. Clothing items made from recycled plastic bottles. And socks that can help with pain management or injury recovery. Manufacturing solutions really opened our eyes to how much goes into something as small as a sock. There are hundreds of people who come in contact with it, making sure it's suitable for our day-to-day -day needs. And to think that a place like this exists in the little town of Conover, North Carolina. After our time at Manufacturing Solutions, we drove to downtown Conover for a visit to Sarah Ann's Cupboard. This is a family-owned shop that has some yummy North Carolina-made products that we came home with way too many of. They also have some delicious fresh made baked goods, like these strawberry cupcakes. When we left Sarah Ann's, we walked just down the street to Embroidery Heaven, where we were overwhelmed by all the things that we could have customized. Ultimately, we walked out with a new hashtag hey y'all cooler, and we have hashtag hey y'all masks in the mail. Then we hopped in the car and made the drive to Hickory, where we got a private tour of the art museum and science center. Because of COVID, they're not open and ready for you to visit just yet. But as soon as they are, y'all need to go because these museums were amazing. Here's just a small snapshot of our tour.
After our fun tour, we drove downtown to explore the shops and all Hickory had to offer. It was also during this time that I forgot something in Ralph's car, went back to get it, but tried to get into a different car. It was a completely different make, model, and color. Too bad I don't have that on camera or Johnny B's hysterical laughter after the incident. After exploring downtown Hickory, we went to meet up with Bo from Murray's Mill to tour the 1887 Harper House, a beautifully restored home in Hickory that's now a museum and a great venue for weddings and parties. Just like the homes we visited at Murray's Mill, Harper House has been maintained in order to keep its historical decor and spirit. You'll find this as you go through the first floor and make your way to the second floor looking through bedrooms. But the real surprise is actually in the attic. An old speakeasy, maintained just as it was left, with silhouettes of some of the most frequent customers on the wall. On the same property is the Betty Allen Education Center, which houses some local art, more period decor pieces, and in the basement, you'll find history about the polio epidemic and how the Hickory area handled the tragedy. They even have logs of those people who came through this building for treatment, most of whom actually left healthy. For dinner that night, we stayed in Hickory and went to Cafe Rule. When we sat down, Johnny B and I both said it would be the perfect spot for a couple to come for a date night. It just had that hip, eclectic, romantic vibe. For appetizers, they brought us the citrus crab cakes with brown butter corn, parsnip puree, and pickled veggies. They also brought out the fried broccoli baffle with lemon zest, sea salt, and cashew aioli. They were both delicious, but that broccoli baffle was addicting. For my entree, I chose the blackened chicken pasta, which to this day is one of the best pasta dishes I've ever eaten. It has this gorgonzola cream sauce that coats the fettuccine, onions, green peppers, and spinach in a way that's decadent but not too heavy, and the blackened seasoning on the chicken gives it just the right amount of kick. Joni B got this beautiful ribeye with mashed potatoes and smoked tomato demi. This plate was just a beauty and it was equally as tasty. Ralph had a delicious looking wood-fired pizza and Patricia had their fried chicken. After dinner, we took a trip to the chef's table. It's located in the kitchen's pantry area and has a beautiful table for you and your guests to sit at and a TV that live streams the activities in the kitchen. When you reserve the chef's table, you get to experience a seasonal menu, boutique wines, and personalized service. It's a unique and intimate experience with the food and chefs. You also get to enjoy the attached patio. When we went back inside to our table, it was time for dessert. First, the churro waffle ice cream sandwich with flavors of cinnamon and a kick of cayenne in the smooth vanilla ice cream. Based on the recommendation, we also ordered the popcorn ice cream, which is a little too salty and buttery for our taste, so we just devoured the ice cream sandwich instead. Cafe Rule was such a great ending to a full day. After we finished dessert, we made the drive back to Conover and Sweet Tea B&B. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe! It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all.